Texas high school football players who hit a referee in a September 4th game at the direction of the team's assistant coach will be eligible to return to the school for the spring semester, the player's lawyer told ESPN's John Barr on Wednesday. The two John Jay high school players, 15-year-old Victor Rojas and 17-year-old Michael Moreno, have been assigned to an alternative school as punishment and have been prohibited from even watching John Jay games as spectators. With credit for the time they've already spent at the alternative school, the boys will be eligible to return to John Jay when the semester starts on January 15th. And this just in, Mac Breed, the assistant coach from John Jay High School in San Antonio, who was accused of directing the two players to blindside an official during a game, has resigned, according to his attorney. Stephen A., from what you know now, are you okay with those two kids returning to school? I'm okay with them returning to school as long as they were not allowed to play football for the rest of the year, which appears obviously to be the case. They're not going to be allowed to play football for the rest of the year. Uh, for this year, obviously, uh, they can return. They're 15 and 17 years of age. They did not kill someone, thank the good Lord. Mm -hmm. And so as a result of that, you think about America being a land of second chances, understanding that these are kids. Uh, you certainly want to punish them because you want to send the message uh, to teenagers that this is not something that is allowed. There will be consequences from your actions. And the earlier you teach children that, the better. Mm -hmm. In this day and age, you shouldn't only be teaching that to children. You should also be reminding parents of that as well, because you don't want parents walking around acting like their children are victims when you just finish victimizing somebody else because that makes you know better in fact it makes you worse because you're the adult which means you're supposed to know better which means that if you're giving that kind of impression you know you you you're, you're even more reprehensible than the kids but under no circumstances do i believe that the punishment on the part of the kids should exceed that of mac breed the assistant coach who ultimately told the kids to go after the official. Mm -hmm. I not only believe he should have resigned, I think he should have been arrested on the spot. You told the kids to go out there and assault an official. That's what you did. They had on helmets, they had on pads, mm -hmm. they were behind the official's back went up to him, one blindsided him, and the other tried to spear him. That is assault. There is no way around it. And the fact that an adult who happens to be a coach literally instructed the kids to do this, I believe he should be held even more accountable than the kids. I will give him credit for this. According to the reports, whether it was the head coach or the principal, I don't recall. He asked what was going to happen to these kids. When he was told that they were going to be expelled, he immediately came forward and said, I he put did. them up to it. Yep. So in that regard, I applaud him from the perspective of he was willing to own up to it mm -hmm. rather than throw them to the wolves. I do applaud him for that. The second he realized they were going to get punished for it, he stepped up and said it was me. Yep. But that doesn't negate the fact that he basically had these kids assault these officials. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm not saying he should spend 10 years in jail or something like that. But there should be an arrest on his record. Mm -hmm. He should be arrested for assault immediately. They should be knocking on his door today to arrest that man for having that official assaulted, regardless of whether he used the N-word and other racial epithets. I'm not excusing that official. That is inexcusable, and that official should be dealt with if indeed it was true, even though that official is categorically denying it. Mm -hmm. But we live in a civilized society, and we have to send the message that just because somebody says something to you that you don't like, Mm -hmm. does not give you the license to physically assault them, particularly when you're doing so behind their back mm -hmm. instead of standing up in front of their face. Sure. I would have respected the official more had he went on a field and confronted the official himself rather than trying to get the kids to do it. Okay, so I have absolutely no problem with these two kids being allowed to return next semester to school. That's right. Neither and I told you from the start, in no way, in no way can you justify those two kids trying to run into that official, running into that official. But if you'll remember, 
from the start, I told you when you dug in and said those two kids should be arrested on the, should have been arrested on the spot. Mm -hmm. There could be extenuating circumstances. Let's see what happened. Let's let it play out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now, as you know, and you've you've turned your focus more to the to the assistant coach. Okay, but still be clear. I still yeah. believe those kids should have been arrested. You do? On the spot. Wow. On the spot. I do I don't not. care. Listen, I think it's important. I think imagery is important. I think it's important for other kids. So you should arrest a 15 and a 17 year old for following orders believe, from their coach. I believe wow. the kids, the other kids there, mm -hmm. should have seen those two kids off being taken away in handcuffs. I don't care if you let the kids out of jail in two hours. Mm -hmm. I I think it's important for that imagery mm. to see to allow kids to see what would have happened what could happen to you if you engage in violence okay that's I what just, I still yeah. stand by that I think you need to investigate first find out exactly what just transpired and and again to your point big picture now a, a number of the players on this team have accused this referee he's denying all the above mm -hmm. of not only making outrageously um, bad calls against this team, the visiting team mm -hmm. for the home team mm -hmm. but as you say of using the n-word against some of these players mm -hmm. and some terms that are offensive to hispanics against some of these players so we have all kinds of things going on that led or prompted the the young assistant coach to order them to take it out on that referee by blindsiding him running into him mm -hmm. again cannot justify that but but again if you're ordered by your coach mm -hmm. Man, I don't think that should, should we have or result in an arrest. We seem to have a full story here. Yeah. Here's the difference between you and I. I am telling you right now, sp particularly because of the generation that we're living in, kids are not respecting their elders. They're not respecting authority. Don't even get me started with community and next door neighbors and how you don't have respect for those folks. I think imagery is essential mm -hmm. to the upbringing of kids. Okay. You cannot assault a referee, even on a coach's orders, and then walk off the field like nothing happened and get to show up on Good Morning America with George Stephanopoulos talking about we were ordered to do it, and that's the repercussion. I am not in any way advocating that those kids should have been thrown behind bars. What I'm saying is it's incredibly important that they should have been arrested on the spot, even if it's something that's going to be expunged in a week. They should have been arrested on the spot Take it away by the cops for assaulting the police officer. The difference between my feeling about the kids and the coach is that I think after that you let them go, you keep them off the football team, but you allow them to return to school. Well, Whereas I'm with the coach, you, if you arrest them, they're going to spend at least one wait, night wait, in jail. Because right, you can't wait, get wait, to the wait, bottom. But you know of what? That you fact. know, ain't nothing wrong with one night. But the other part about it is this: that coach, I think that coach should be arrested. Okay, and that's treat fine. it like an adult who assaulted somebody. But remember, that is the difference. The kids are obeying and following the orders of a coach. One kid didn't, Skip. There were three of them that was told. One kid was okay, wise we're, enough. We're only and talking about the two. Well, I'm, okay. not, what yeah. I'm saying is one kid was wise enough to know better mm -hmm. because of how, uh, I don't know if how he was raised or just his, his natural intelligence. He was smart enough to know, look, I can't do that. I could get in trouble for that. The other two should have been. Mm. You're 15 and 17. You're not an adult, but you ain't some toddler. You knew better. You did it anyway. No, you're going to pay a price for that. You're going to pay a price for that. Had that been, if I had a son and that been my son, mm -hmm. I'd have whipped him. I'd have whipped him like he stole something. Okay, well that's and I don't even want to tell you what I would have <laughs> done to the coach for giving him that order. Hmm, please. All right, let's leave it there. Drew Brees is banged up and the Saints are off to an 0-2 start, but will they turn it around? That's the discussion coming up.